Hey, Scott, I was going to ask you about the class of 2020 wide receivers and if some of those guys are maybe closer to contributing more and also if, uh, if, if, if Omar Manning was going to be available to you this week. Uh, yeah, those guys are close. I think the young receivers are doing a great job coming along. I think Coach Lubick's doing a good job bringing them along um, for a bunch of different reasons. I think they all got set back a little bit, whether it was a virus or an injury or an absence. Um, but they're getting close. Um, Will Nixon's the one that was hurt in the spring, and we'd love to have him, but he's out for the year. Uh, I think the rest of the guys are, are getting better every day. And the old receivers are doing a good job of, of being good teammates and helping them and teaching them. Um, and yeah, I think we'll have, I think we'll have a role for, for some of those guys, hopefully this week or soon after and, um, Omar's ready to play. Sam McEwen, go ahead, Sam. I'll follow up on what Brian was talking about. What has Omar shown you in the last two weeks that makes you feel good about, um, what he can do? And then I also want to ask about Luke Reimer and, and whether you feel like he might be able to help you this week too. Uh, for all those young guys, it's a matter of just being here, being here consistently and continue to learn. And like I said, uh, through kind of sometimes not their fault, they just haven't been able to get the reps and get the experience. But, um, when those guys are around, we recruited them for a reason. They're talented. So, uh, they just need to keep learning and keep getting more consistent. Uh, Luke Reimer's a guy that I've been impressed with since the first day he stepped onto campus. Um, he had a little bit of an ankle. Uh, expect him to be fine Saturday and ready to go. How much does uh, does that help you? I, I mean, uh, Miller and Hone has played quite well against Ohio State, according to your coaches, but they also had to play a lot of snaps. How much does it help just to have an extra guy in the rotation there? Yeah, it helps. Uh, that That's one spot where we don't have a, a ton of depth, so we have to make sure we stay healthy and um, be nice to be able to rotate those guys and have uh, several good players that can go in. Kevin Suits, go ahead, Kevin. Hey, Coach, after the week of practice, how do you describe the readiness for your team to play on Saturday, especially given the fact that you did not have a game uh, last week? Yeah, I think we're ready to play. We're prepared, uh, so we're ready. Um, would have been nice to have another game under our belt, you know. Um, I, like I said, I think last press conference, if this was game five or six, maybe missing a game and having extra time to prepare would be an advantage. Uh, we need to play. It's hard to get better as a football team if you're not on the field playing. Um, you know, we missed a bowl game last year, unfortunately, so we missed a bunch of practices. We missed spring ball. Um, we're in November, and we haven't had a home game yet, and this is only game two. So uh, it's just been unusual circumstances, but um, our guys are as ready to, to play as I know how to make them. A few more for Coach. Uh, Jake Bartecki, care on you. Hey, Coach. Uh, Northwestern starting linebackers, all three of them seniors. Patty Fisher, obviously, you know, he's pretty good. Um, is there one thing you think the offense needs to execute specifically well to play well on Saturday? Well, you got to account for their good players and their good scheme, their good coaching. Um, they're sound. They don't give you anything easy. You have to earn it. So uh, we just have to execute well. Uh, there's no real secret to beating Northwestern. I think you have to block, tackle, run routes, get open, cover, um, and and try to limit your mistakes because um, they're probably going to limit theirs. So it, it's just a matter of having fun playing football and, and executing and playing a smart game. Uh, back to Parker Gabriel, finishing up. Hey, uh, Scott, I, I want to ask about the defensive line, but briefly, are you hopeful that you'll have Jack Stoll back at some point this season? Absolutely, yep. And then defensively, on the, on the defensive line, obviously you've got a lot of players that played some last year, um, but mostly role-type guys. What did you make, I guess, of their performance week one as you were able to, to go back and watch the film collectively? Yeah, I thought we played solid on both lines, um, even though the score wasn't what we wanted. Um, I felt like we held our own and sometimes, sometimes won, won, sometimes didn't, but it was a good athletic team we played, and I was impressed with how we played on both lines. Um, thought it was a major step forward for us, uh, especially after getting pushed around by Ohio State the year before. Um, was really impressed with some of the young guys on both sides that came in and, and looked like they belonged. So, uh, again, that's where added games will give them more experience and kind of fast track their development. But um, I was pleased with what I saw from offensive and defensive line.